So we are wrapping up on our Attica build here and we are going to finish it off with these Attica end caps for the bumpers. Now, like I said in both the bumper videos that these bumpers are modular. So that means you can customize them a little bit. Now, if you prefer this look, you can leave it just like that. But the end caps are pretty cool as well too. They'll slide right on the end here, give the bumper a, just a little bit of a different look, which honestly I don't hate. I think it looks really good like this as well too. They also add in a light here and that will tie in with our headlight harness. Another thing that I wanna point out that's actually really nice about these end caps is they have this kind of soft pad on the inner of the end cap. So if you do wanna change them out here and there, it's not gonna scratch up the end of your bumper and then you never have to worry about that. Now these things are just as durable as the bumpers, so if you wanna leave these on when you're going off-roading, you definitely can. These things will take a little bit of a beating, but let's go ahead and install the front ones. After we're done the front, we'll show you how to install the back. Before we jump into today's install, if you have any questions about the tools that we're using, check out cjponyparts.com forward slash tools or click the link in the corner of the video for a free video and PDF file showing you what tools you should have and how to use them properly and safely. All right, so the first step in this installation is actually going to be taking the front end apart so we can get the headlights out. Now you could install the end caps first if you wanted to, but I'd rather just get the busy work out of the way first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this top plastic panel and it's just held in by push clips. Now we're gonna take off the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the grill on. We now have to pull off this lower panel, which is just held on by clips. And the one thing is with the Attica bumper, you will not be able to pull the panel off all the way, but you'll be able to pull it off enough to where we can remove the rest of the grill. With the lower panel out of our way, we can now remove our grill. This is just held in by clips and you do have to pull a little hard to be able to get it off. Now we're gonna remove the headlight. There's one eight millimeter bolt on the bottom and two tens on the top. With all hardware removed, you can pull the headlight out. and disconnect the wiring harness on the back of the headlight. So this is our Attica wiring harness and basically this is gonna work as a jumper harness. This is our factory headlight harness for the Ford Bronco wiring. Take your Attica harness, connect these two together. And just like that, now our lights will be able to work with our end caps. And then this plug right here will just go back into our factory headlight. Set that out of the way for now, and let's install our end caps. So grab your end cap and then the hardware that's provided in the kit. We got a bolt, a washer, and a nut. Slide your bolt through, connect it to the bumper, just like that. And we're going to throw the nut on the back side of the bolt. And then put in the rest of the hardware and adjust it and then tighten everything up. So we got our end cap on and now it's time to grab the second wiring harness that's going to be inside the kit. And this one's pretty simple. This is the connector that goes to the end cap light. Plug one side into there and then take the other end of that connector, come over to your Attica jumper harness, plug that back in. One of the three connectors that are here 
And at this point, you can clean up your wiring, put this headlight back in, repeat the same process on the opposite side, and then you're good to go. Now this is our rear end cap. Now this is going to be a little bit easier than installing the front, mainly because we don't have the lights. And then the three holes that are on the bumper are actually threaded. So we're gonna slide this on. Now, same as the front, these rear end caps are super durable. If you leave them on when you go on trails, then you'll have no problems, you know, if any obstacles hit them or anything like that. So we're gonna start with our bottom one here. Main reason we're gonna start with the bottom one is because we do have our license plate mount to also go on here. And just like that, our rear end cap is on. Now all you have to do is repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, so we're all wrapped up with the install. We got our end caps installed on the front and the rear. And I gotta say, with the lights turned on, these things look actually really sweet on the front of the Bronco. Now, I'm a big fan of the rears as well. And if you guys remember in the beginning of this series, I said I actually like the bumper without the end caps more. But now, after getting the end caps on and seeing them in person, I think I'm gonna take that back. I actually really love the way the end caps set this Bronco off. This entire Attica kit is just absolutely amazing. It looks good, it's easy to install. So really, what more could you ask for? Now we got one more thing to install and that's going to be the skid plate. So if you guys wanna see that video, definitely subscribe. And if you wanna purchase any of these Attica products, click the link down below in our description. But it's time to drop a gear and disappear, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.